What's up YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fuel Efficient channel. Today is May 25th, 2016. And today I'm bringing you guys the Go Pink Fishing Challenge. If you guys, you guys may or may not be aware of, recently on my Instagram, I posted a photo of my hot pink lure collection. Uh, if you follow me over there, you know what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, I have it right here in my hands. And you know, I asked you guys through Instagram if I should do a video on my Pink Lure collection, right? And I got very positive feedback from a lot of people. So I'm bringing you guys the Go Pink Fishing Challenge today. The rules for this challenge are very simple. Any fish counts as far as you catch them on a Pink Lure. So hopefully I'll catch a lot of fish for you guys to see today, I'm here on the Schuylkill River in Norristown, Pennsylvania. We will see, we will do some multi-species fishing, maybe some bass fishing. Hopefully we'll catch a lot today. Stay tuned. All right, fellas, we are here at the Schuylkill River, right next to Norristown. Uh, there's a fish ladder right here under the dam, and there's a law in Pennsylvania that says that I can't fish 100 feet from it, so I'm, I am pretty much 100 feet down. Let me quickly show you guys the setup that I will be using for today. I'm using my St. Croix Avid Pearl, pink purple, of course, with my Shimano Sedona 4000 FD, my trusted Cast King braided line, 12 pounds test, also pink, <laughs> all right? And I'm starting my day with a little Johnson Minnow Spin, also pink, all right? One eighth of an ounce. I'm gonna give a few casts here, there's a little current going on here that is looking really good. Oh, fish on, fish on. What we got here? Oh man, first of fish of the day, a miniature largemouth bass. Check this out. Ah, large mouth bass, what am I talking about? Miniature small mouth bass from the Schuylkill River. Boy, we will need to catch something at least 20 times bigger than this. You know, but hey, a beautiful specimen. Indeed, on my first pink lure of the day. Let's go. First fish of the day here. Small, small mouth bass. Eh, very small, but hey, a beautiful fish. Regardless, right? Check that out. Shines, shines so beautifully in the water truly a gorgeous fish yeah ready to go <laughs> so i started the day with my minnow spin one eighth of an ounce pink collar here on the schuylkill river just caught that small small mouth bass now we're going to shift gears a little bit since i already caught a fish on this lure what i'm going to do i'm going to tie on one of these jig heads here which is a 116 or a 132 i'm not sure jig head with a gulp alive minnow two and a half inches also pink collar gulp that i'm going to be using two and a half inches pink i'm just get one of them this is not the right container for it you know i just picked that container to put that stuff in but anyways there we go right 116 or 132 not sure with a two and a half pink Gopa Live Minnow fish imitation. Beautiful, all right? All right, let's go. There's a hole right here. Cast and jig. Oh, fish on, fish on. Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Another miniature smallmouth bass on the two and a half. <laughs> gold minnow man i'm catching all the miniature <laughs> i'm catching all the miniature ones man you know since this bite was so fast i just gotta focus a little bit more i just gonna focus a little bit more on the gold minnow see if we can catch something bigger before i change this bait fish on watch why are the smallies here so small <laughs> so small <laughs> oh man whoa rod went in the water too what crazy man it's all right it's not salt water it's all good little little 
the smiley here, man. The, tsh, where are the big ones? Bring me your great grandfather. Got it? So I'm here taking a break, having some mango water ice and some cold water. And guess what? The table is pink. This is just this is just a coincidence, folks. But check this out: pink, pink. Even the trash can is pink. I'm telling you, folks, it's a pink day. School of little fish. Wow, we got here a school of little fish from the Skugu River. Check this out. These are Easter mosquito fish. I don't have my micro hooks with me, or else, you know, I will hook them good. Oh, yeah. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Yeah, right at this low pool over there. Legit. Whoa, what is this? Is this Molly? Oh, is this Molly? It's a legit though. It's a little bit bigger than the previous one. Gotta give credit to it, but still not big enough. We're still looking for something bigger than this. Ah, they're getting bigger though. I gotta give you credit, but there we go. A little bit bigger, but it's still not the giant that we're looking for, yeah? Come on. Folks, I've been across some of these, some beds over here. I don't know if it is for the bass or some other species of fish, but there are plenty of them around here. Very interesting stuff. Boys, what a brutal day here on the river. It's been a few hours since I've been here on the Scooby River around the Norristown Dam. Let me give you guys a view of the dam right, right behind me. And as you guys saw, you know, I just landed a few smallmouth bass. That was it for today. So not the best day of fishing ever. Regardless, a very good day of fishing. 80 degrees out here, beautiful day. You know, weather like this, you know, it's just a beautiful day to be wading the river out there, right? So I guess I'll leave the rest of the challenge to you guys, all right? So here's the deal. If you guys go out there, right, it's the go pink challenge. So if you guys go out there and you actually catch some fish, using pink viewers why don't you send me the footage either the video or the photo to my email i will check it out i'll keep checking and you know one of these days i'll post that footage on my youtube channel how about that huh so if you decide to go out there you know and use some pink viewers let me know how you do it all right i'm calling it a day super tired out here you know it doesn't look like but waiting the river you know like this on a day like this for a few hours it is pretty tiring, all right? So I'll see you next time. Tie lines until next video, fellas. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, finally, man. This is a nice size bass for the Skugu River, too. Gulp. Gulp, two inch. Damn, that's nice. That's a nice bass right here. One and a half pounder, maybe? There we go, finally. On the gulp, man. Pink jig head with the gulp, two and a half inches. Finally, not bad, not bad. Ooh, nice sample from the Skugu River large mouth bass right here from the Skugu River about one and a half pounds gonna do a release of this guy right over here bye bye he's good to go whoo fish on first one of the day Oh yeah! Smally came up, got the bait. First one of the day, baby. On the Senko, yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad. There we go. Schuylkill River, 
small mild bags wacky ridge pink senko here all right folks find a view of our first the small mouth bass here from the Schuylkill River. Thankfully, we got the stairs here on the Schuylkill River at East Falls, so I can release this fish quite nicely for you guys to see. Well, not quite nicely, but at least you guys get uh, to see this fish here. Uh, this is as nice as I can do, unfortunately. But there you go, huh? Beautiful small mouth bass from the Schuylkill River. Ooh, all right. Fish on. Nice. Come here, little fish. Oh, snap my line, man. This guy got power. Little dude is not my braided line. Whew. No kidding. Man, give me some trouble here. Not bad, huh? Let's unhook this little fella and release it. Alrighty, folks. Got a final view of our second fish of the day here. Not a giant, but it's a bass from the Schuylkill River. There he goes. Beautiful.